this is Robert Estrin at livingpianos.com. Today, I'm going to tell you how to make your piano stay in tune. You know, there's nothing like an in-tune piano. This is a richness and a beauty and a purity to the sound. You know, once your piano tuner leaves and you play it, it's, ah, so refreshing. But before you know it, it's going out of tune again. And, you know, in a perfect world, we don't have live-in tuners, have our pianos tuned daily. That in some dream world, if I was a billionaire, I would definitely have that, by the way. But getting to reality for a minute, are there things you can do to get your piano to stay in tune? The answer is yes, quite a few things, and I'm going to touch on some of them today. First of all, as I've talked about many times before, the stability of the environment where the piano is, is crucial. If you have a place that have big swings of temperature or humidity, the piano is not going to be stable because after all, the soundboard is made out of wood and the wood will expand and contract with the changes in the environment. And the soundboard, the bridges, the strings arc over the bridges which are attached to the soundboard. So any changes in the soundboard will affect the tuning. Um, for an extreme example, Indiana University School of Music I'm going to talk about in a minute. Of course, in a recital hall that's always the same temperature and humidity. But it brings us to another factor, which is how often your piano is tuned. Sometimes people go years without tuning their pianos, not realizing that it will take several tunings. Usually the tuner will do two tunings right in a row just to get it up to pitch first, then to tune it. And you know, sadly, that second tuning won't hold very long. But people who tune their pianos like clockwork, you know, four times a year or even monthly, as some pianists do, my father always tuned his pianos monthly. Of course, he practiced on them and taught on them, so they really needed it. Because that's the other thing. If you want your piano to stay in tune, don't play it. So you have to balance what you want in your life with, with how in tune your piano is. So getting back to Indiana University Recital Hall, there were two Steinways on stage, an old Steinway and a newer Steinway, and you know people would choose one or the other. The interesting and wonderful thing was they were always perfectly in tune. How can this be? Well, I mentioned the environment. The other factor is something I touched on a moment ago. Those pianos are tuned every single day. And I was good friends with the tuners there, and they tell me that rarely did a unison ever go out on those pianos because they'd been tuned daily for so many years that they just didn't go out of tune. Now, I recently had a similar experience. I inherited my father's uh, seven-foot Baldwin that he bought brand new in 1972. And as I mentioned, he tuned his piano monthly. He also would touch up notes that would go out of tune throughout the month because he would just, you know, do a little bit of tuning himself just if notes went out. And I found I have never owned a piano that is so stable. So if you want to get your piano to really hold tuning well, tune it as often as you can. Keep the environment really, really as stable as possible. Now I want to tell you another story. Is that is something referred to as concert tuning. Now what is concert tuning? Well, there are all kinds of techniques for getting a piano to hold better than just a regular tuning. And you might wonder, what does that entail? Well, there are all kinds of techniques, and there's one of them I'm sworn to secrecy about, so I won't reveal that one, but I'm gonna tell you one that I am at liberty to tell you. And that is, uh, one of my father's recording sessions, there was a, a tuner there who did something very interesting, and I don't know if you've ever seen this before. You know, a piano tuner is tuning a piano, and they're, they're banging away on the, on the keys. Some pi piano tuners just play very lightly, which is kind of nice, because it doesn't blow you out of the room. Other tuners are more aggressive. Well, this one concert tuner had a block of wood with felt on it, and he would just bang every key on the piano on this beautiful, stunning concert grand. You think, what, is he going to destroy this thing? Well, the whole idea was, after he was done tuning that, my father could do anything on that piano. It was very unlikely to go out of tune. Still, he sat there through the session, and indeed, unisons would go out of tune in the course of the session with massive Rachmaninoff and Liszt and other pieces he was recording. But at least he had a fighting chance because at my father's recitals, being such a, a massive player with a huge dynamic range, the pianos would always have to be touched up during intermission. So at least at these uh, recording sessions, the pianos would hold their tuning longer. 
So the third thing here, aside from a stable environment and tuning often, is find the best tuner you can and ask for a concert type of tuning because, you know, there's all different levels of tuning for different players. And if your tuner doesn't know that you really demand something really that's going to be top notch, they might not realize that you're off after something more than just a regular tuning. It might cost you a little bit more, but it could be well worthwhile if you're the kind of player who really appreciates a piano that stays in tune longer. Once again, this is Living Pianos, your online piano store, and I'm Robert Estrin, and it's always a pleasure bringing these videos to you. See you next time.